Welcome to What The Spec. In the last couple of videos, we've mentioned NVMe storage and a few of you good folks have reached out to me and said, Craig, what the heck is NVMe storage and why would I want it in my next PC? Well, stick with us because today we're going to be answering just that. So by the end of this video, you're going to understand what NVMe storage is, what makes it so fast and basically why you want it in your next PC. In order to do that, I've split this video into four easy to understand sections. The first section is, well, what takes Utopia, what makes Utopia pick a new brand or a new, um, a new type of technology and put it into our systems? Then we're going to be talking about what NVMe is itself. So, you know, what does it stand for and what makes it so fast? Then we're going to be doing some real world benchmarks. So what are the real world differences between a normal mechanical drive moving through to a SATA SSD, moving through to an NVMe M.2 drive. So you're going to see the real world differences and then we're going to wrap all that up in a nice little conclusion at the end that you can take away with you. So without further ado, let's crack on. Before we do that, I want to say a massive thank you to the sponsors for this very video. The first ever Utopia sponsored video by Western Digital. Thanks very much to the guys and girls over at Western Digital that have sponsored this. They supplied us with some of their tasty second generation SN750 NVMe M.2 drives. That's a bit of a mouthful, but they were very good and you're going to see some benchmarks coming up from that drive later in this video. They've also kind of accepted or agreed to sponsor a video without knowing any of the content and without knowing how we're going to go about benchmarking their drives. So I thought that was very cool of them. It showed a lot of trust in Utopia. And I thought, you know, well done guys. Uh, that was very brave. Um, I guess it shows confidence in your product. We will wait and see. And with that, I guess, you know, it'd be a drum roll for all the, the marketing people sitting over at Western Digital going, oh my goodness, what have we sponsored? What is gonna happen? Uh, don't worry, you're in good hands. So along with that, I wanted to kind of kind of talk about, you know, Right now, Western Digital's NVMe uh, M.2 Black SN750 drives are, well, they're live on the Utopia website. So I guess that gives away some of the conclusion. You can build a Utopia PC with those drives. So how did we go about doing, you know, getting to a point where we were happy to launch those drives on our site? Well, the first process um, was to actually test the reliability of the drives to try and work out, you know, the long-term reliability for our customers and clients. Were they going to be okay? Were they going to be, mm -hmm. you know, perfect for our clients? Then we wanted to look at the, the, the value of the drives. Now, we're not talking are they cheap. What we're talking about is performance against storage space. Were they providing good value against our options elsewhere? Then we wanted to look at the actual, you know, the, the real-world performance of the drives. You know, do, do, they, do they match what they say they do? And then finally, we're going to look at the design and we, we, we looked at the design of the drives and do they fit in with our systems because although performance is key in all our PCs, we also build aesthetically pleasing, beautiful systems and every component that goes into our systems, we want to make sure that it adds to the, the aesthetic value of the PC, it doesn't detract from it at all and um, and yeah, the drive's all done really well and as I'm saying this out loud, I actually think it'd be a really cool video to, to show that process from start to finish for a new vendor or a new a new brand or a new a new component and show it you know what happens how the team have a discussion yeah watch this space for a new what the spec video on just that I will of course keep this honest and real uh, any of the benchmarks that have been you're going to see coming up they, they're the real benchmarks that I ran myself and if you've got any questions on any of them please get in touch with me uh, as I say I'm here to try and provide a kind of educational value in Western Digital completely agreed to that. So uh, that is all good. Okay, so what does NVMe stand for and what makes it so special in the first place? Well, NVMe stands for Non-Volatile Memory Express. And now you know that, you can file it away in the never need to know again pile in your brain. Moving forward, what makes it so special? Well, to understand that, I think we need to look in the past. We used to have SATA technology and that was when we had mechanical drives and SSDs. And mechanical drives we knew were slow. Even when we were using them back then, we knew they were slow. They were clicking and clacking. And we, it was the bottleneck on pretty much all our PCs whenever we were dealing with large files. Then SSDs came along and all of a sudden our PCs were loading into Windows instantaneously. Applications were opening straight away, moving large files from one place to another. No longer seemed like such a chore. It was amazing. But then very quickly the technology caught up with the bottle, with the bandwidth of the SATA bus. And what we ended up with was basically a complete bottleneck again. Um, everybody, everybody wants more performance. So thankfully, 
technology companies like uh, Samsung, Intel, uh, SanDisk, they all put their heads and put their heads together, locked themselves in a room, and they came up with uh, the NVMe technology, which utilizes the PCI Express bus. And that means that it can operate at up to 4,000 megabits per second. I've got a little graph that I'll throw up that will illustrate the difference between that and the SATA technology that we've had in the past. And as you can see, it's just massively faster. It's so cool. So this new communication standard allows us to write up to four times faster um, and read up to 10 times faster than our traditional SATA bus. And there's also some seriously impressive numbers around the NVMe storage as well. With over 68,000 simultaneous commands and over 64,000 queues, NVMe can literally, it has huge bandwidth. Um, to put that into perspective to SATA, the SATA can support 32 queues uh, over, no, th sorry, 32 commands over one queue. So you, you can see the, you know, the, 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 the vast differences that we're talking about between SATA and NVMe. So it's time to do some benchmarks. We've tried to do some real world benchmarks. We've thrown in a synthetic benchmark at the end to give you an idea of what will be happening if you're dealing with some really, really big files. Uh, but the rest of the benchmarks we've done, we just wanted to kind of show you what are the real world differences that you're gonna see moving from mechanical drives through to SSDs through to M.2 NVMe. To run these tests, I put together a test system with the following specs, and we ran these real world tests. For the test drive, I've used drives currently listed on the Utopia site, including the new WD NVMe SN750. As you can see, the mechanical drive really struggles to keep up with either the SSD or the M.2 NVMe drive. Now what you will notice is, well, there's a stark difference between the mechanical drive and either the SSD or the NVMe. Uh, you will notice that there is a performance increase in the NVMe M.2 drive across all of our tests. These small differences do add up and you will find that for a super smooth workflow, the seconds that are gained throughout the tests will make for a, a nice experience when using your PC. Okay, so what does that mean? What do those benchmarks mean for NVMe and the potential for your new PC? Well, what we're saying is that NVMe is an amazing technology and the M.2 drives that support NVMe are super, super fast. Now, don't get me wrong, the benchmark showed that it's a few seconds here and a few seconds there when you're looking at things like opening Adobe Premiere, opening Adobe Photoshop, etc. But if you are using large files, that difference will become exponentially more. And what you will find, as I said, when you're using your system, those small differences do add up. You know, a few seconds to turn your system on, a few seconds to open up your application. When you take all those away, well, time's money and it does make for a nice, smooth experience. What we'd also find is that for Utopia, most of our clients are buying very high-end systems. We're looking at big workstations, big beefy gaming PCs and laptops. And the cost difference between SATA SSD and M.2 NVMe is becoming less and less all the time. So generally speaking, we would always suggest that you opt for M.2 NVMe drives in your system. And given that, I guess if you're building a, a, a cheaper system, a, a budget workstation or a budget gaming PC, then you can still get away with using a SATA SSD like the one that we used in the benchmarks. But you know, um, if you want the best performance, it has to be something like Western Digital's SN750 um, to be able to get the very best out of your PC. Thanks again for watching the video. I hope you found it informative. I hope you've enjoyed it. Western Digital, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Please hit subscribe. Hit the little bell beside the subscribe button. That'll let you know when our new videos are out. Right now, we're kicking them out about one a week. Uh, if you want to see more from us, then let us know. If you've got any questions on this video or any of the benchmarks, then stick them down in the comments or get in touch with me. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you.